Hello guys, welcome once again to another tutorial session on bioinformatics. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to visualize genomes using the DNA plotter. Right, so let's look at the DNA plotter. It's an interactive Java application that enables you to generate circular and linear maps of genomes. It gives you the ability to display regions and features of interest. With a DNA plotter, you can read file formats such as EMBL, GeneBank, and then GFF3. G DNA plotter is packaged as part of the Artemis software. And so in order to run a DNA plotter, you have to install the Artemis software. The Artemis software itself runs on Java. And so you have to make sure that you also have Java installed. I've made a separate video on how to install the Artemis software and you can find it in the description below. For this tutorial, we are going to generate this genome map, which represents uh, the chromosome of Mycobacterium ostrans AGY99 strain. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to get the genome. Okay, so we'll go to NCBI and obtain the genome that we will use to visualize. And so we click on NCBI, revisit the link. We select the nucleotide. And then we search for the organism name, which is aging Y99. We are interested in the full genome the complete genome so we we'll scroll down so we get to this section on the next page we will download the gene bank file we want that full version so we download that we will now save our file So the file has been downloaded. So we can visit the desktop. This is where I saved the file. So once we have the genome, we will now open our Artemis on the command line. I'm using a Linux system. So ACT and then the Artemis will start. So this is the interface that will be shown. So to open the genome, go to file, we click on open. We don't need this, so we close it. This is what we need. And then we now locate the file. Mine was on a desktop. So I'll go to desktop, this is the file. So I'll double click it. And then it will be opened. The next step is to go to file again in this new interface and then open in DNA plotter. So this is where we now begin our visualization. So this are uh, tracks. These tracks show information. And so we can modify it and customize it to show the information we want um, to get across. So let's first modify the track and change the colors. So to change, we go to options and then we go to track manager. And this is where we can make the modifications. We don't need a track four and five, so we'll delete them. So now we have track one, which is the forward strand for the CDS. Track two, which is the reverse CDS, CDS strand. And then track three, we represent it with the insertion elements. So that belongs to the category of mobile elements. 
so we scroll and then select mobile elements after we've done that we will now update the tracks you first have to check the not sido okay and then after that you can update the track so notice that after updating we have this showing the black also showing so the next step is to modify the color so for the track one which is the forward we want to use a blue color because i know the rgb values i will use that as well so whenever you hover the cursor on any of the cells you should see the rgb values being displayed so i want 00255 so i search for 00255 and then click ok so to let this change take effect we uncheck this and then we close we now change the color for track 2 the rgb color is 255 so we go and select 255 so we search until we get it and we uncheck the next one is the mobile element it's zero 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 so we go and then we change that as well so this is for the tracks so we add some additional information here that's a gc plot and gc skew and so to add them we go to graph we select gc plots and then we check it so it appears we want to modify the color and so we go to graph again gc plot options and then the first color we will give it rgb of 204 2040 and so we go and search for that which is somewhere around here so we search for it here and then the second color we give it 015351 which is here somewhere here in the green section so we search and then we hover our mouse until we get to that one okay so we have it so we click ok now we add the gc skew so we go to graph skew draw we go to graph again skew and then options to change the color we use the same color as the gc plot so 204240 then the next one 015351 okay so that is also done so this is the genome map that we have generated and so after this you can save the image okay and to save the image you go to file save as jpeg png image and then you have an option to give it a name so let's say ag y99 now you can select different file formats here by default it's png so we'll save it with a default okay now you can also save it with a different formats as the svg okay svg is a vector graphics so it enables you to edit the image using tools such as inkscape okay so we save this also agy99 okay so we have it saved as well so we can go to the desktop and then view it so let's minimize them okay so this is the file we have 
So we have the PNG and then the SVG format. So let's open it. Yes, so this is the genome map that we have created. And so if you have any other bacterial genomes or any genome in a gene bank format, you can also use the DNA plotter to visualize. Okay, notice that in my presentation, I had some text in here. Okay, so this text you have to modify and then add that to yourself. Okay, so with the SVG format, you can use the Enscape to open it and also do the modifications there as well. I would also like to acknowledge the, the, the publication that is displayed on the screen. I got the idea to make this tutorial based on the article I read. That will be all for this tutorial, and I'll see you again in the next section. Bye-bye.